Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and we're continuing our series with the book, The Language of the Masters by Mike Spiro. So that was Etude Number no. 1 uh, in the style of Guillermo Barreto, and that's on page 26 and 27 of the book. So uh, this is a collection or an improvisation that Mike wrote that is composed of all these ideas of the previous three solos. And if you're not familiar with those, maybe look back at the last two videos in this series. So this has all those motifs and licks and techniques of uh, the great Guillermo Barreto. Let's talk about a few of these. This is kind of a recap because I talked a lot about it in the other video. So uh, basically those drags, and we'll start from the beginning, the first bar, uh, are going to be pretty open, so you don't want to buzz them like this. Don't do that. Play them open. But they should sound small like they look. The other option is to do singles. That's fine as well, and plenty of great timbali players do that. But uh, for me, that's just a little too loud for that particular spot on the grace notes. The other thing you'll notice when I'm playing the solo is I'm stretching a lot of these rhythms. Now, in this solo that's written out, I only has a few of those stretch markings, which are the lines above the figures in here. But all of it should be interpreted like that. You shouldn't play this in a classical style. It's very much towards the triplet. So this has the uh, trademark um, Barreto upbeats a lot of times. What we're going to do is I'm going to put on a metronome here for you. And I'm going to play some of these upbeats for you so you can hear how they sound. So 
So I'll play this passage for you here, which is really interesting, starting at bar nine. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you see there how it's the upbeats are emphasized, and it's more of a feel than anything. So uh, that's one thing that this Montuno that I was playing with that actually comes with the package really helps you do the phrase with that piano sequenced Montuno. Uh, the other spot that we haven't talked about yet in the three previous or the two previous videos, the three solos, is um, the figure at 61. So that sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. So that's very physical, and that occurred in the first solo, Descarga Cubana. Uh, but this is uh, sort of a reinterpretation of that that's a little longer, very thematic, just great stuff. Okay, so uh, I would definitely suggest, um, you know, working on this solo with a metronome. One thing I'm going to do for you right now, and I haven't done this in the previous solos, I'm going to play this slower for you so you have something to practice with. So we're going to go all the way down to uh, quarter note equals 180, which is half note equals 90. So I'll play the half note. One, two, one, two, three, four. So hopefully that gives you something to practice with slower. Uh, tricky to do that as well. You should practice these at as many different tempos as possible.